not like I'm gonna stretch that much before the marathon. Hi there, Sage Candidate of VO2 Max Productions here with another episode of Training for an OTQ. It's uh, March 3rd, 11th and uh, we're four days out from the LA Marathon so this will be the last workout video that you'll see before the actual race and you know it's been really nice in Boulder. I've been, uh, it's finally the snow that cleared off the track kind of. Um, snow starting to melt, it's in the 60s right now but I've been wearing this jacket or a Hoka jacket all week on my easy runs to try to get acclimated because the weather forecast is not looking great for this weekend. I usually don't look at the weather forecast till about two or three days before a race because it's something you can't change and it's something that maybe it would change my, my packing strategy but I was going to pack t-shirt and shorts for LA anyway. Um, but it's supposed to be really hot. It could be, the high could be 80 or 90. Uh, hopefully it won't reach that temperature during the race but it's going to be warm even at 9 a.m. and it's not going to be ideal. Um, Usually when I'm going in a race and I want to be competitive, I'm just going for a place. It doesn't really matter. Bring on the heat. But uh, in this instance, when you're actually going for a fast time, uh, it's not exactly what you want. But, you know, I'm just going to have to face that adversity because I can't control it. It's just going to make hydration that much more important uh, before the race, during the race. Dumping water on my head for evaporative, evapor I can't say that word, evaporative cooling. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's going to be a sweat bath out there. But, uh... Today's workout, I'm just trying to get in a last little bit of pace work. Uh, this is a big taper week. Uh, last week I only ran about 90 miles a week. This week will be way less than that. And uh, you basically have to do something still to keep the metabolism revved up and to keep some muscle tension in the legs. So if I just ran easy all week, I might come out really flat. But uh, with the taper, I also feel flat anyway. <laughs> I feel kind of bloated, but that's that's normal. And usually this workout, three miles at, at goal marathon pace, is something that uh, I always do uh, when I've trained myself before marathons. And it's supposed to be a confidence booster, but it's also supposed to be to just familiarize yourself with race pace uh, so you don't go out too fast. So I'm going to try to hit 515s here out on the track. I do it on the track because I know the splits could be very consistent and they're fairly accurate. 1600 meters is close enough to a mile for all intensive purposes today so we're we'll doing 12 laps around this track and they just cleared it. This last 100 meter stretch is a little slushy but uh, I'm gonna keep the jacket on to keep the, the sweat rate up and to try to acclimate a little bit. Maybe too little too late but here we go. Is it going? Yeah. Alright here we go. I didn't know that I'd been chosen Singled out along the road But I was sure I walked alone Burdened by a heavy load Until a clarion voice was singing It's a rival like a break Holy oh, crap, day. 502 Too fast But I saw the good light good sign Gotta simmer down though Promise of beginnings Like a mine of seven leaving To a place that was so fitting And familiar to my soul I couldn't fathom it Five ten. Find it even I could learn to keep them wolves at bay. Five oh nine for the third mile. About, uh, I think 1520. So that was good. That was uh, not paced well. Don't want a positive split like that, but uh, really good sign given uh, the altitude still and uh, tapers going well. It means legs felt good. Breathing a little hard, but that's because I was going too fast like an idiot. Um, I don't look at the first quarter mile, half mile splits because I just want to know what my first mile would be and it was a surprise. I was like, oh man, maybe I feel like crap and this is a 520, you know, maybe it's a 510, I don't know. It was a huge relief to see a 502, but can't go out that fast in LA or I'll, uh, I'll really crater. So uh, just gotta face the weather and just go out, go by ear and uh, try to go out at pace despite the adverse conditions and just try to compete as best as possible. So thanks again for tuning in. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more training talks as well. Sandy and I are really making a push with our website, sagerunning.com. 
athlete empowerment and thanks again for Sandy for filming check out her YouTube channel link to it there but again really appreciate all the support and all the comments and wish you the best of luck if you're racing LA with me this weekend or any other race you got coming up whether it's a 5k 10k half marathon marathon or ultra marathon so uh, thanks again I really appreciate all the comments and thumbs up and, and support couldn't do it without you guys so thank you and stay tuned for more see you in LA don't ask me when but I know that it is coming just as sure as night will end I hear a steady list in drumming Feeling out a simple rhythm that'll set me out of running It'll guide me on my way, I'm not alone